Welcome to the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast with Mike Kincaid and Jake Goebel. Join them as they experience specialty coffee and document their journey. These friends explore roasts and roasting methods, brewing equipment and techniques, and review the cafes they visit along the way. Thanks, Brioni, and thank you for joining us for episode 107 of the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast, where Mike and I talk about the Flair Espresso Maker, the Caflano Compresso Espresso Maker, the <laughs> Ilio Bullet R1 and some of the troubles that Mike's been having with it, and also we give you an update on our book giveaway. Hope you enjoy it. Let's jump right in. Well, welcome to the Orange Cactus Coffee Show. Hi. Are you? I on? normally say podcast. Do you normally say podcast? Yes. Thank you for joining us. Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast. I am Jake. And with me is the Mike Kincaid. You say show in the videos, though. When we I do, do say show in the videos. Because it's different. When there's a camera. It's different. When there is a, a cam- camera now. But see, I don't notice that camera. I know. You, you, uh, you, I'm totally you're not cognizant to of it. I'm not. You need to be more I'm conscious not. of it. I know. I pick my nose. I... You, you do know, a lot of weird stuff. I do a lot of weird it stuff. It makes great just let thumbnails people, and screen grabs. I just let the people have it. You know what I mean? I just be me. I'm just me. But even when you look at it, because, you know, it's, people watch. Hi. People look at you. Yeah. And they say, oh, he There's a camera. Right doesn't there. even know that I'm staring at him right nope. now. Nope. Nope. Well, I guess in my mind, if someone's watching the YouTube video of our podcast, of our show, in my mind, I feel like they have it going on in the background. Yeah, because everyone's you. And they're listening. They're mm-hmm. not actually watching me and looking at yeah. me drink, you know, no. mint. No. I think it's great drinks. when uh, mint limeade. people queue up the video and they go, thanks everybody for joining. It's nice to see you. Like, it's, you don't realize it when it's done naturally, but yeah, they're faking it. I can't see you. No. But actually I can. Right into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying. That's... <laughs> I was staring at the elements. Nice. Welcome. Could you feel that? Welcome. Welcome to the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast, where Mike stares into your soul. Uncomfortable? Or is, uh, is no, it's a perfectly good filler. I mean, that's two minutes of nonsense that we have as an introduction. Boom. Done. Moving on to the next point. Do you have a segue for it, or the soul stare does not? Um, well, no. Someone else that can stare into your soul and tell you what you're not doing and what you should be doing. Gary V. Nice. Nice. How about that? That was a great segue, Mike. I'm totally impressed. Should be. Yeah. Crushing it. I had that queued up for a couple weeks now. (laughs) You've been waiting, huh? You've been waiting. (laughs) Waiting to drop that. Yeah. You didn't rush it. It was perfectly delivered. So we've got Gary V's book, Crushing It, and we're doing a giveaway. Is it too early to... did a giveaway. That's right. Giveaway is done. Well, no, we're still sending out books. Well, yeah, but the actual, yeah, the giving, the the physical giving away is is in full force, but oh man, the social contest, yes, is done. Is done. Kaput. Over. Ceased. Over. And some of y'all ain't stop commenting. Some of y'all ain't answering me on Twitter. (laughs) No replies. Uh, Some of y'all no acting me on Twitter, and I'm going to give your book away. (laughs) I'm going to give it to somebody else. So your one chance. Check your Twitter messages and get back at me with your address. Yeah. A few on Instagram, but I will say majority on Instagram were pretty quick. Yeah. Well, the, getting right back. The majority on Facebook, Facebook, Twitter were as well. Were they? Just a few. A few Face, outliers. A few outliers. There's like five, oh, I think. He's asking me for personal information. This just got awkward. Uh, Ignore it. No, I think it's messages. People don't want, because it's so, man, excuse me. <coughs> All right, I'm back. It's so common to get spammed. Never, Sorry. I'm you never back. left oh. to them. Sorry. <laughs> You're still in the picture. Wait, what? It is so common to get spammed exactly. on Twitter that people don't even read their DMs anymore. It's almost like, hey, I sent you a letter in the mail. Did you see it? Like, It's an mm, auto DM. No. Hi, Orange. Let me read. Okay. <laughs> you get auto. And I think I don't right. want to get too far into it, but I am going to get into the, some of these. Normally, You're I just on, delete them. Something. Normally, I just delete them. But this one, uh, okay, Okay. check this one out. You talking to me? I know these messages are annoying, but I'm just (laughs) a kid with a dream, and if you could check out my brand, I would really appreciate it. Tell me what you think. I'll appreciate the feedback. You can't be critical as a kid. If you know the messages are annoying, why send them? Laugh my AO. Why write back? Because you said you'd appreciate the feedback. (laughs) That's what you said. 
That's what you just said. You said you wanted the feedback. So there's some feedback. Yeah. It's not the feedback you wanted. Hey, Orange, if you need a website or graphic design, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Well, also, you... thanks for calling. Hope you enjoy my content. I know that it's an auto reply. Because yeah. what it should look like. Maybe at, at best a copy and paste. Hello, Orange. We have created this name of the Twitter. Is that because Orange? To help you grow your audience on Twitter and Instagram. Is like in the first name position? Yes. Type of thing. So it's yes. like, it'd be like, hi, Jake. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Uh, that's funny. So well, I think you're right because I think on Instagram it's uh, protected a little bit from that, and there's more uh, real conversations, yeah. real interactions happening. Yeah. Except, you know, as previously discussed, sometimes it's hidden or it doesn't notify us. So if I don't look, but yeah. I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better. Well, look at that. So this look is what a real message sounds like. Thank you for the follow. We hope to plan a trip for the podcast out to Arizona in the coming year and would love to see Orange Cactus Coffee when we're there. Yeah. little something. A little something that says you know, you know, that knows a little bit. Of, it, it's just, it's obvious that you checked and it, it's a real person instead of just an auto thing. And it's like, why do you want an auto tweet anyways? Why do you want the auto message? Because it's easy. Yeah, it's but it doesn't easy. give you anything. It's easy. In fact, it all, it, it. It's what the books say to do. It's what the traditional no. uh -uh. guides do say. Do they? Yeah. Uh -huh. How to automate your social life. I don't want it automated. Spend more time with your family. Let bots do the work. Yeah. That's it. it, it people see through it now. It might have had its peak, right, when it was actually semi-popular, when people didn't realize that yeah. there were bots that were doing this. But now everyone's on to it. The market always figures it out. Be like that ain't that ain't real. There's yeah. nobody behind that. Yeah, yeah, and that's it, it, and we want to be real. And Gary Vee is real. You've had some the good book interactions. Giveaway is real. What I find interesting is that I think some people think we're faking it or fronting it. Like I get the message and like, e, what do you want? And like, well, you won the book. Remember the book? And they're like, oh, 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 yeah, of course. That yeah. was legit. That was legit. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were legit. I thought it was just <laughs> something stupid. I was like, yeah. oh, whatever. Yeah, what idiots yeah, would give away a hundred yeah. copies? Who's giving away a hundred copies of a book? You guys are, and then who's paying more for the shipping <laughs> than for the book? Nobody oh. does that. That that makes zero sense. I can't get going too much. <laughs> Al the Ab is, <laughs> is, is is working it over here. Al, uh, that's funny though because it, that was kind of right an afterthought slightly. Yeah, or maybe in the excitement to do the buy the books, do the giveaway. You didn't really consciously think oh wait each one of these have to be shipped i didn't think about it it didn't i, didn't, I don't I it didn't, didn't really cross it. my it mind didn't resonate either. with me because you were just excited i'm like yeah, I was just pumped let's up. do it i was just pumped right. up i can i can help now i realize how stupid i am what do you mean but what do so, you mean you live in india for our rules we said that we are only <laughs> shipping to the u.s u.s residents citizens u.s residents residents only. you yeah. don't have to be a citizen only no you just have to have a mailing address correct that cost me seven dollars. According to the official of rules and sweepstakes, and then you're supposed to follow them. I haven't followed the rules very well. Follow them. My rules that I made up. I haven't followed them because really? people are apply or people are winning from across the world. Oh yeah, different countries. Sure. And I'm sending the books to them. In fact, I've probably Why? I've spent Why a couple hundred dollars on international. Sh well, a couple reasons. One, I didn't. It's not like I got sufficient. U.S. only applications to exclude all the internationals. Yeah. And then I thought in fairness, like some of the homies that have bought coffee from us and we've shipped it overseas, I was going to hook them up. And it's like, well, if you hook them up, you should, in all fairness, hook everybody else where up as well. Where do you draw the well. line? Yeah. Where do you draw the line? Since you're not sticking to where you said you were going to draw the line, where do you really draw the line? And so I just said, you know what? It's I'm going to... I'm going to I'm going to ship it. I'm going to ship it. them. So now, now if somebody complains and says, "Yo, I didn't win and you sent my copy to Ireland, where's my copy?" I'm probably just going to say, "It's right here, bro. There's six people that didn't reply to me on Twitter. I got your I got your copy right here. I got your copy right here. I got you." But I think the well, you're right. I think yeah. you're right. Sorry. I was just going to say, I think the response from the international audience was more passionate. than expected. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and there was such an excitement and an enthusiasm yeah. for some of them that 
they palpable. they were like, wait, yeah, I, this is exciting. I can't wait to get the book. When are you shipping it? And then the next day, hey, have you shipped my book? You know what I mean? It was like, wow. And, and you know, we were talking about that, right, Jake? And I think for some of them, it really might make at least right now in their world, it's a dramatic opportunity a big, that they big really would not have otherwise. Yeah. To hopefully better, because they might be able to tell a story, use the social platform from yeah. the country they're in, from yeah. you know their day to day life, and the tools and and kind of the information in this book could help them. I don't know, maybe improve their life a little bit, and, and they see that and they're excited to get it. So it was hard to say no to that. Yeah, and, and it just right? it felt like the right thing. And initially, I was like, well, I don't want to spend twenty bucks on shipping, but then once you start to get to know these people, they're real people. Yeah. And I'm not very good at saying no. I am not good at saying no. So I'm like, okay, it's on its way. Yeah. It's There's, on its way too. Yeah. It's hard to put, I mean, there is a limit, but it is hard to put a value on someone that is genuinely excited and wants the yeah. book. Like that's when you're excited. That's when you're happy they won. Yeah. Because I know there are some people that we even had some people say, hey, you know, I was just trying to promote you guys. If you want to give it to somebody else, I'm cool with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're well, just being nice. I had one of my homies today. He said, hey, oh, I won? Hey, that's, that's great. And I was like, well, do you want it? He's like, well, I was just trying to hook you up. But yeah, but yeah I, I do want it, but I'll pay for it. Yeah. And I was like, no, that's not the way this works. I got to treat you the same way that I treat everybody else. Exactly. And I think they're being nice and considerate. And some of them know, hey, I can just go out and buy the book. Or maybe I already got the book. You know, yeah. Some already own, own it. They're yeah. diving in, and so they don't yeah. need it. So they're being respectful and just letting us know. Um, but that's a different feeling that we have. You know, that compared to those that, hey, I need this book. I'm excited. So I think yeah. that was part of the factor in saying, let, let's just do it. You know, you're like, that's fine. I mean, I, I asked you like 10 times. I know. <laughs> I and like, I never gave you a straight answer. <laughs> never. I never gave so, you a straight answer. And then finally gave him a message. Saying? Okay, I shipped to Mexico. I shipped to India. Even after that, I'm like, tracking. so are doing we. the instant. So, so international, yes, no. I was like, Is yes, but not limit? too many. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, but not too many. And so, it's like, well, it's random. I don't pick. And we've had people that have, you know, some have two addresses, you know, maybe two locations, and they were gracious enough to say, well, just send it to the U.S. one. Yeah. So thanks. It saves us like oh. 15 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's nice. The, the book was heavy enough to where it, it cost $7 to ship it, period. Domestic. Domestic. Yeah. Anywhere you go, because it's over a pound. It's a pound. It's like right at a pound. It's like right 16 at a pound. ounces. It's a pound of Gary. So you get one pound of Gary in your mailbox. But <laughs> if, if it were less, then I could have used a different shipping uh, envelope and then, you know, slung them out. But now they're out in priority mails. And we priority mail uh, padded envelopes. They're free. It's not Christmas in the mail. Believe me, it's not Christmas in the mail. It's just a book. Do you think... In retrospect, yeah. if we were to do this again, yeah. you could have done it cheaper, possibly more efficiently by just saying, you know, doing the contest, taking the winnings or the winners, the names and buying Amazon and using Amazon to ship. Yes. You know what I'm probably. saying? Probably. Probably. But I don't think we would have got on Gary's radar. Well, sure. And that was, yeah. Because being able to send, send them, let them know, yo, a screenshot of a hundred bot on Amazon got his attention. Yeah. And got his team's attention. Which was uh, another reason, a reason. motivation for yeah. doing the giveaway. Absolutely. Absolutely. But the only, the, the real lesson, the real thing that I wish I kind of would have done different, and maybe it's a little too salesy or something, but I, I wish we would have had like a card. Like if we would have printed up a card. You want to, you want to design a card and print? A card that <laughs> says, thank you for participating in our book giveaway. Yeah. And here's a coupon code for ordering coffee. Mm -hmm. Some sort of right hook in there. Yeah. Like yeah, there's, yeah. we, we throw, we've thrown, ja we, I, I am incapable of throwing a right hook. All I do is jabs. That's all I can do. It's jab, 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 give, 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 give. I think it would have been cool. I don't know if it had to be like a fancy card, just coming up with like a discount code. Hey, you also yeah. won this, you know, handwritten yeah, note. I'm not comfortable with that. In fact, you should be. Uh, as I was driving around That's yesterday. That's real, though. You as know, I was driving around that. yesterday. Well, that, the coupon code is great, but I want it to be on a nice car. <laughs> I know. You want to spend another couple hundred dollars yes, on the, on the, on the insert. Yes. Yes. On the insert. Thank you. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Here's, here's, here's the problem a is. fancy $10 bookmark that happens to have a lifetime code <laughs> that if you can use it anytime you want. 
<laughs> it's never going to pay for itself. I hate you. No, but that's I actually a cool you. idea. I a bookmark you. that had a lifetime yeah. Gary V discount code. Lifetime. Like, how cool would that have been? Yeah. Like, you just put Gary V, put the name Gary V, and we will always honor it $2 off. Maybe make it slightly, exactly, always for the lifetime. And yeah. it's just thank you for being part of building and, and participating. And yeah, something. Something. Yeah, we should have done, done something. Why we should have done why something. Why did you do that? Well, I, it, didn't re- I did, it didn't hit me till I was like um, 20 books deep. Until you're in a stack. We'll see. And also, on top of that, you... 20 um, books deep. You've already committed so much to it. Just thinking about adding more, you, you, the weight might have put it in a different class. Just yeah, that little but I didn't know bookmark. until I got the books. But now I know <laughs> that the book is, was in a, a class of all its own, no matter what yeah. I do. It has got to be shipped. So the next giveaway. Priority mail. So the next be giveaway. Even better. Well, we we did talk about this a little bit. It's like, well, what if, what would have been a better use of all that money, and that is to buy twelve grinders, twelve oh. baratzas, or ten baratzas, and say, hey, you know, subscribe, Orange Cactus Coffee, get your coffee subscription, and we give away a grinder every month to somebody that's on our subscription platform, right? That subscribes and gets coffee from us. And that would have been cheaper, and we would have gotten some benefit from it. Yeah. But I don't think that was the goal. We wanted to give. You know what I mean? We just wanted to help. Yeah. So I'm not beating myself up too much. No, over. it was great. And I think a lot of people will benefit from the information in there, especially those trying to yeah. do their thing. And, and grow so, their own coffee business exactly. and, and all that. So, But, but I, haven't had the, I haven't read it yet. What? I've been so busy with football, I have not read the book that I I've been finished. giving away. I've started. But I know that I'm down to my last box of Gary V books over there. You know what's going to be great? When you accidentally give away all of them and you have to go buy another copy for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll give you mine when I'm done. Don't worry. You know it. what's crazy is if, if I can go back and change some, I don't know if I would have done it on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook's a pain. Like to try to DM and then who am I DMing from? Am I DMing from Jacob, but then it won't let me send? And some people don't have Messenger. And, and so there's some privacy rights. Some, it, Facebook was the hardest. It is a pain. It is. I think the best thing that I want to do is like put a post and try and tag them, but you can't tag everybody. You know what I mean? Some people won't let you tag them. Yeah. And so it's been hard to notify people on Facebook. Yeah. So if I could say a, a better giveaway is stick to Instagram and Twitter. And we mentioned and maybe it. even Snapchat, but I don't know how to. I wouldn't. I don't know how to run that on yeah. Snap, on Snappy, well, on Snappy Chatty. And kind of a follow up that might help is, and we've mentioned it, is we could take the list of winners and post it right on our site, just their their handles, their usernames, you yeah. know. And so let them know, hey, go check if you're on there and you haven't heard from us, hit us up. Oh, we I could do a little Facebook video. I'd be like, yo, Johnny. Why are you not calling me? <laughs> yeah, I, you can call him out, or you can just let everyone know that Johnny, you're the uh, call me the chosen or posted on the board after school. Please you check were your the name. Chosen one. What you were supposed to bring balance to the force. Are we going to talk about what you're drinking here? A mint limeade from Sauced. But I've had a lot of coffee today as well. It's so highly caffeinated. You would have had more had you not. Yeah, and that I'm not spilled my espresso. But it was it was kind of nasty espresso anyways. It wasn't the best. Let me tell you what does not give nasty espresso. The flair. At home espresso maker. The flair. Now F L. F L A I R. E. Is it E? E. There's an E at the end of the flare? E. No, there's not. Best Belita. And I think they're from they're from my hometown, or my wife's hometown, where I graduated from. Right? They're from Golden, Colorado. Flare no. espresso. No e. No. Oh, thanks. Well, there is an e, because espresso starts with an e. So when you say it together, yeah, flare espresso. So flare espresso hit us up about cold pressed espresso. Is that correct? That's yeah, kind of how the conversation started. Sure. If would you like to memory serves me correct? Would you like to carry that on or Well, we talked about that last time, I think. Oh, did, did we, we? Didn't we? Oh, I don't well, remember. It says that your their mailing address is in Laguna Niguel, California. Maybe they're not from Colorado. Oh, oh you know what it is? I have no idea. Maybe they're 
they're so they're so hot they're so hot that they got two addresses like i got well there might be the one that's running the social that won the book and then there might be the actual company address oh i see well because they were a winner they were a winner as well as yeah. 90 other people yeah. Um, but yeah, so Flair, so yeah, we started this conversation about, uh, cold pressed and they said, Hey, we've been experimenting with it. And that's one of the things that a manual, uh, espresso machine allows you to do. And they were having some pretty good results. So fast forward, we ended up, uh, picking up one of their, uh, espresso makers. Um, they did offer us a, a discount to get it because we said we would like to review it and let you. You know, you, our listeners, know what we think of it. Yeah. Um, but we didn't want it completely free because we wanted to keep it. Right. And it's just nice when we pay a little bit because then personally for us, we feel it's easier to give full, you know what I mean? They don't feel as bad. Like if somebody gives you something, especially a machine like that, that's a couple hundred bucks. You, you want to say nice things about it just to be polite. But if it's really, really bad, that's hard, you know, but we also want to be honest. So nonetheless, we don't have to worry about that with the flare because first thoughts, it's awesome. Yeah. I really, really like yeah. the flare. Yeah. It was really good. And as far as manual espresso goes, we've done a few other things. I have, uh, we've tried the Caflano Compresso. Uh, I've tried, there's the Star Resso, which is a little hand pump one. Um, we've also done the Prismo, you know, uh, the Aero Press attachment, which is espresso-like. Yeah. Um, there's others out there. Um. But, and The Rock is a popular one that we haven't tried, so we need to maybe get that one in the that's list. That's on the next. That's on the list. But we spent too much money on books to give away, so that's why we don't <laughs> we have got, The Rock Espresso. We don't have The Rock. But we do have The Flare. And not only do we have The Flare, we have a very special one. Yeah. And uh, they Black Flare. just announced it last week. Yes. Uh, black, yeah, the signature edition, black with the copper holder for the, uh, the porter cool. filter for the yeah. cylinder. And it, it really was more our style. Which is what they said. They're like, hey, we got something you think. And we're going to have a video coming out about it. Yeah. We're going to do a kind of a first impressions demo review yeah. all tied yeah. in one video. Let you take a look at it. It's very cool. I thought it was, I thought it had a very flavorful shot. Mm -hmm. You know, small, but flavorful. Kind yeah. of like, you know, kind of like me. I'm, yeah. I'm oh, short. Is that? Yeah, good. A lot of flavor. I think to me flavor. the thing that struck that was the most impressive to me is that the build you. quality. Uh -huh. That struck you. When I, when, yeah. When you grab what they call the cylinder. Well, yep. when, when you, you grab the little cylinder you thing. Hit the microphone. And we'll throw some pictures up there. Uh, the cylinder that has the porter filter that, you know, that holds the water. It just has such a nice craftsman, yeah. heavy, substantial, substantial something there. build quality. When you grab it, it, you know you're grabbing it. You know you got something um, that's been designed and manufactured yeah. well with yeah. care. So check them out. Uh, we'll have the video. Maybe next week we'll bring it out, put it on the table, uh -huh. talk about some of the components. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we've enjoyed that. Nice. More to come. And yeah. it's got a small footprint. And it's also, you can, it, it folds up in this sweet little case. How cool is that? That's like you could take cool. it. Take that, take a Lido, take a hand grinder, something that can do an espresso grind, and you've got espresso at your buddies or Wherever. at your parents. Or, or out camping. If you can get in, hot water. Yeah. Wherever you want to go. If you can get hot water, you can get espresso. And the cleanup is not, not bad up. at all. It, it wasn't. No, nope. it wasn't bad at all. It's not too many components. Some of the ones like the Star SO, that's the little pump, has so many little components and rings and seals. And, and to me, it's a little too much and a little too small. So that's, uh, that's flair. More to come. Yeah. What about the Compresso? Oh, the Compresso, we, uh, I think we mentioned it last week. That Did we? We're going to give it away. Our friend Manny. The Manny G. The Manny provided us a If you want to know who Manny is, check out episode 50. We had an opportunity to mess around with it a little bit, do a little short video that we're going to release. Um, and uh, now we want to uh, it send it on. Yeah. Send it on to its uh, it final destination. Find a home for that, that uh, Caflano Compresso. So we're going to do another giveaway. Nice. On, but we've only got one. We're not going to do it on Facebook, I'll tell you that much. We're not? No, we're not going to do it on Twitter either. We're going to do it on Instagram. It's going to be an keep Instagram it on the Insta. giveaway. Yeah, yeah it's keep probably it the best spot. Keep it Insta. So if you're looking for uh, a portable espresso maker, something that's uh, small, that doesn't take up much counter space, keep and um, keep, keep checking. Keep, keep checking, checking in. Yeah. Look out for it. All right. Coffee experience time. 
coffee experience. Ah. Coffee experience. So I went down to press this last weekend. What? I didn't think you liked press. A hundred dollars. As I was sitting there, I was like, oh, this is cool. Eighty five seventy. Um or eighty six seventy. That's cool. I I I made it under a hundred. And then I said, well, I'll give him a tip because I ordered food and a bunch of drinks and I'll just give him a little tip. And so I rounded it up and then all of a sudden it came out to 100. And I was like, oh, I was trying to stay under 100. One bill. But you got what? Six people drinks and food? Six, yeah. So that's yeah. It's not a small party. It's not a small party. It was a great party and it was great. Press is always great. I bought two bags of Twitch espresso. Oh, and two bags of Twitch. And then I bought well, there's myself 30 bucks. and the missus a mocha each, so two mochas, and then I bought myself a single origin espresso that was not single origin, it was a blend, but it was the spitball, not the twitch. Sounds which was like funny a single origin. Because she was like, it's she's a, a nice lady, Ethiopia. but she didn't she didn't know not what she was yet. talking about. Not yet, she was new. She was new, she didn't know what she was talking about, but that's okay, she was very happy, very happy to be there. Yeah, excited. Very happy to be. Happy to serve. Be the, Yeah, happy to serve. It is yeah. my pleasure to serve you. Yeah. And then is this is a blend, yes. I, Single origin, yes. Yeah. Is it good? <laughs> yes. Very good. On its way out. And Here then it I, comes. we had uh, four hot cocos for the kids, four pastries, yeah. That's one where you for went each wrong. kid. That hot cocoa is expensive. Yeah. Instead of going 12 ounces, I should have gone eight ounces, but we drank it all. We ate it all. And then <laughs> the missus and I each had avocado toast. So good. She had the caprese avocado toast. I had the protein avocado toast because I'm I'm all about getting my gains. So What's I had to mean? have that chicken sausage. I had to have that bacon. You know what I mean? I had to. Oh, they actually put meat. Yeah, it wasn't just like a protein. Yeah, piece of bread, like tofu, like Dave's protein bread. I love me Dave's. I don't know. I love Dave's too, but no, this had some meat on it, and it was really good. And some. Why onions. are you talking like that? And some onions. Cause I'm <laughs> getting my get? gains. I'm getting uh, my gains on yeah, when I, I talk about protein. The low voice when I'm talking, talking about my slow. protein, when I'm talking protein, uh, this is the voice I got to, got to get my gains. It's incredibly uncomfortable. Good. You should be because you're not getting your gains. <laughs> <laughs> you're not sufficiently gained up. Um, oh, no, so yeah, that I, was, I always uh, get my gains. <laughs> it was I love. It was very good. It was very good. The service was great. It took a little while. It looks like they probably could have. They could have uh, stood to have one more barista working there. but They could have had one more barista standing there, you mean? Working. Oh. Working. They had a gal at the register, and there was a line, especially after I got in there. There's nobody, there was no line when I got in there, but there was a line when I was done Who ordering. Who brings their kids? I know. They were so bougie down there. Like, hey, bro, it's this the isn't McDonald's. Version. It's right? the Chandler one down we, in Portofino or whatever. Have no place out here. They're so bougie. There were no other children in sight. They're like, ugh. Who has kids? He's taking up three tables. That is so gross. Three doubles. So selfish. And look at her. She's not even wearing yoga pants. And look at him. He's not he wearing, is wearing yoga shorts. pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, do you want to talk about the Ilio real quick? What? The Ilio. Are you done telling us about the press experience? I think I'm done talking about the press. You're done talking about the yeah. press. Yeah. That I, we didn't have a dog. We had kids. And we didn't have biker shorts. We were wearing regular pants. So totally did not fit in there. But you think I cared? Nope. Nope. No, he doesn't. Nope. Yeah, I can I talk love about me the... some press. Press and is good. it was down the street from where we needed to be. And I was loving me some press. Yeah, write it off. Yep. Anyway, speaking of... The Ilio. Mentioning the bullet. Bullet R1. The bullet R1. So, wanted to give you an update. That is our current roaster, right? Yeah. The one kilo, 2.2 pounds. Usually do about 800 gram batches, which yields, uh, I go a little over, which yields about uh, just enough to fill two 12 ounce bags, give or take. Um, I find that keeping 800 grams as the only roast size that I do outside of doing uh, profile or batches or um, sample batches, it just helps produce a more consistent uh, cup. I can replicate it. By keeping that variable the same. So with that, though, we are solely dependent on that. I mean, yes, we still have the B-more. The B-more, that's the, that's the roaster Mikey started with, was Which the B-more 1600 plus. Is a great little roaster. Um, <laughs> but I think with the Bullet, we've kind of defined um, some of our profiles, defined some of our flavors, and we actually have some people that look for that consistency. Yeah. Especially if it's the same bean. 
So switching, you know, mid-roast, if something were to happen to the bullet or if it were to go down and jump on the B-more, though, we could do it. I don't feel that that is appropriate. It might take you a little while to dial it in. Well. And, you've, and the set, you, it's not set It's going to be a whole different. It's going to affect, set impact before. the roast and the yeah. flavors. Exactly. Um, so that leads us to kind of our, our conversation here about having a backup plan. Because just what happens this if week, something happens to that roaster? I was roasting some of our yet-to-be-released Honduras that we have. And right at the end of the roast... And the roaster um, fell apart. The drum stopped turning. Uh. And the beans were stuck, you know, between the uh, the door um, that opens the drop and the drum. And it stopped turning. It starts making this loud popping noise. So I pulled the plug, yeah. dumped the beans. I'm like, well, that sucks. So... Yeah. Well, my, my roaster's broken. So, Well, I didn't know it was broken at that point. I thought when the beans just got lodged or something went wrong. It's never really happened before. Uh, so I cleaned it out, got it going again, preheated, ready to go, dumped in another batch of green from Honduras, another 800-gram uh, batch, and almost immediately did the same thing. Locked up, drums started kicking, making all sorts of noise. Boom, 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 boom. So, ka, boom, 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 ka, boom, 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 Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. And so I'm like, well, what's going on? I've read, you know, because there is a great help slash support slash fan group on Facebook for the bullet. Yeah. And there have been others that have talked about um, essentially what can cause that. And it was the case in my situation is that the motor that turns the drum in the back, the bracket that holds it, the, it can shift and it doesn't keep tension on the belt. There's a belt that goes between, you know, the pulley of the drum and the pulley of the motor. And that, that rubber belt that turns, it, if it doesn't have enough tension, um, it doesn't spin the drum. Yeah. And that so make, over time. That makes sense. Over time, it, um, you know, with beans getting stuck in the door or between the gap or just too much pressure or too much heat, it can shift. It looks like it's designed to shift as a safety feature, meaning if something does act really lock up the drum you won't blow anything it will just pull the mount out of place and you don't lose your your drum motor you don't burn your drum motor up or anything but conversely it also means you have to tighten it or that the washers they use to keep it in place these rubber washers wear out and that seems to be what the problem was mm -hmm. so I, I went through all the facebook posts i found a couple of people that talked about it uh, one was you know our buddy a in Canada, Black Stripe Davin. Ooh, Black Stripe, what up, Davin? Thank you. He's uh, encountered that, and so I reached out to him, Instagram DM, and he was helpful. Kind of told me the the solution he came up with, basically just adding a couple O rings. He picked up the at the automotive store, mm -hmm. and that led me down a direction. Stopped over at my local True Value, which I don't know if yeah, you have those everywhere, but it's a great store. Yeah, they're so helpful in there. Tell my problem and got some bigger rubber washers and a locking nut and some things to kind of do a hybrid version. So I think it would still uh, let go in the event of a catastrophic failure of the drum. Go. So it would let release. It go. Um, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> We've lost them. But for you, those go. of you that might be interested in this. Let it go. Tightened everything back down, did a couple batches. It seems to have been resolved. Turn away and slam the door. Perfect. <laughs> Which it was resolved on the same day we got an order. So I was able to roast that nice. order. But that leads us into what if I couldn't. Hey, now. Now I'm hitting the Now mic. you're just wow. smacking the mic. I wow. know. He's just. I'm out of control over here. No, what? no, no. You're, you're, you're scouring for attention because I've been talking for too long. Yeah. You don't know, you don't right. know what to do with well, yourself. No, it's appropriate because we get a lot of questions about roasting and the bullet and all this other stuff. Yeah. And it's just boring. But I know somebody is out there soaking everything in. Well, like, shut up, Jake. Let Mike finish talking. What about the thingity thing? I don't think it's boring. I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed the process of, all right, I got to fix this. I got to fiddle with it. And that's one of the positives with the bullet. Everything, every roaster will fail or have some issue. Every mechanical device Exa or it's electronic gonna fail. device, they yep. fail. And something like the bullet, where they're constantly trying to improve it, which I've heard, you know. And it's revolutionary. That they're trying to even improve this, because they know that this happens after so many roasts. Uh, come up with a better design. Um, it's just having a backup plan. And it got me thinking, for us, that could mean having a whole other roaster, or maybe just simply having some uh, common spare parts. You know, maybe even having replacement motors or belts or washers 
So that as soon as something like this happens, if your business depends on it, if you're roasting, you know, on a weekly or, or every other day, um, and you have customers dependent on it, you know, the last thing we want to do is send an email that says, Hey, thanks so much for your order. We hey. can't roast it. Hey. That would be Jake's. That'd be Jake's yeah. email. Yeah, I would be the one that have to that send him a video of you telling him we're so sorry. <coughs> I'm, so I'm going to send you this half open bag that we roasted last week. Is that cool? We'll discount it. Is that cool? Yeah. You go with that. I'll give you a little extra. So that's uh, the adventures there. We got it fixed um, fairly simply. It's an easy machine to work on. Comes apart, easy to repair, um, and uh, it's working again. So cool. That's update. On the nice, bullet. Nice. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about was the Cortado glasses that came in. What? It's not in the show notes, but not what? neutral. Not neutral. We got some Cortado glasses in. Kind of like not many, but. The, the Cortado's been kicking my butt. I have zero latte art, zero foam on the top of those. It's just... I should have taken a picture. Dang, oh, it was so should, terrible. You nailed it. So terrible. No, I killed it. Just killing it. Still trying to figure out what is a Cortado. I mean, I under, I can tell you what it should look like and what it should be. I think it's one to one or 1. 1.1 to 1.5, 1. something along those lines. Very close. But to actually pull it off, it's been a struggle. I'm thinking about going, because right now I pull double shots to go in. I'm thinking about pulling a single shot and going from there. But I don't think the single is going to be enough. I think I need it like right in between. Well, you can program your bevel yes. and change it. Yes. Maybe just go less on the a double. less. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe since you use the double more right, consistently for everything else, maybe you could reprogram the single shot. Yeah. And then use that for potatoes. Or I could pull... Two singles. A single and a double. Drink a little. <laughs> Here you go. We'll pull a single and a double. But yeah, I mean, compared to the Cortados we've had at Press or Royal down in Phoenix, it or wasn't... At, at anywhere. Well, those are the only places that yeah. had them. Anywhere. Or within 100 miles yeah. of us. It was not good. Whereas the mocha, I'm doing a pretty good job making an 8-ounce mocha. Like, the latte art is not there, but the flavor and the texture is very good. Well, I think it's a good place to start. Yeah. It's better than having amazing latte art and it just being nasty <laughs> bitter <laughs> well the latte art was good and they have great scones <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's so anyways the cortado they're smoked they are smoked they're four and a half ounce glasses they're or whatever. beautiful glasses yeah nice heft nice. yeah nice build they're really good really good <laughs> really good <laughs> Oh, those spontaneous laughter. Really so good. But they're really good. I can see a whole cafe, though, like uh, using those. I think. Uh, uh, using those? But, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I was going to try and paint a visual picture of them sitting uh, on top of the espresso machine, you know, but. It's beautiful. It would look good. Yeah. Those are nice glasses. Yeah. Not neutrals, killing it. So we need to get those going. Yeah. I right now, to. that's our glass. Yeah. What else do they make? Anything else? Yeah, they make. That's what Press switched to for all their espresso. And espresso-based beverages. Do they have the black ones? Uh-huh. They have those ones? All black. Yeah. Well, they have mugs. That's all right. All black. I don't we know about We can copy the their products. mugs. They copied our boxes. Yeah. Well. It's a trade-off. Yeah. Look, if, if you're doing it right, we are going to copy you. Period. If you're doing it right, we want to do it right, too. So we're going to copy you. All right. Lastly, this one is going to take a little while. You got plenty of time. You got, you got 10 minutes. Okay. You got five minutes to talk about it. I wanted to talk about because I just got my toxins. Ta- toxins. <laughs> I, I just got my toxins. Sis. I just got my toxins <laughs> done, my toxic- and I want to talk about how much money I spent on coffee last year. Toxicity report back, That's and how much money we made on coffee, selling coffee last year, and boatloads. And it is a crazy peek behind the curtain. Nobody would tell you what they spent or how much they made, but we're going to. Except Cat and Cloud. Except Cat and Cloud. Do they? They did. How much money did they make last year? I don't remember. It was a while ago, but they had a podcast where they talked about finance. Nice. I said respect. Respect. Isn't that what people say when they agree? Respect. They don't say anything. <laughs> Just respect. I don't know. Okay, so respect. <laughs> we we made, this is what we made on sales last year. Which I don't remember when we actually started selling. It wasn't the whole year. No, it was in Maybe the April? last half. April? Maybe a little more? Yeah, just over half a year. Your wife? Uh, March then. <laughs> Maybe March. Something Maybe along May. those lines. Maybe May. Maybe June. <laughs> Somewhere around there. Six, seven, eight months maybe. We made... How old are you? Four, five, six, seven. 
Did you uh, go potty today, there, big guy? Oh, when's the last time you went potty? Uh, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. That's what my kid used to say. When's the last time you went potty, buddy? Uh, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. I was like, okay, let's let's try and go right now, okay? Yes, pop pop. Let's try and go right now. It's good stuff. You know, I had another one. Yeah, another kid. It was about yeah. maybe we could talk about money next time because this one is far <laughs> more important. Did I talk about naps before? Or no. No, I don't, I don't so, re- recollect. When you're a kid, they always try to tell you, take a nap. Yeah. You go to kindergarten, you there's nap time. Don't get out of that bed. You're so, well, at stay home, on the mat. At, yeah, stay on the mat. Take your nap. Take be your nap. quiet. Yep. Be quiet. Lay down. Be quiet. Go to sleep. And at home, right? If let's say you homeschool or you're just at home or daycare, yeah. take a nap. Go yeah. lay down. I don't Stay care that you're not bed. tired. It's quiet time now. Don't care that you're not tired. It is time to take a nap. Okay. So now fast forward a couple of years and I'm at work. And why do I not get celebrated for taking a nap? It's nap time. Yeah, it is. I'm supposed to be napping. Yeah. Your work can wait. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. After lunch. It's nap time. You need that recharge. So I'm over here taking a nap. And the boss gets upset. What's up with that? Where are you? It's not it, It's not right. I'm it's, in the middle of the bank lobby taking a nap. Some cultures got this figured out. They take naps. I want to be praised for taking my nap. Mm-hmm. And I also want it scheduled. Yeah. I want to be, you know what? Not right now. Yeah. I'd love to have this meeting with you. And I know my email said noon, but it's nap time. It's nap time. So I need you to go take a nap. And Immediately then preceded by. Uh, we'll see you in a half time. an hour. Lunch yeah. time. And then you you come back and you look at the don't rest of your the mat. schedule don't and leave then your mat. you take a nap. It's quiet time. I'm not. T- I don't care if you're not tired. It's nap time. It's nap time. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. We need more of that. More nap time. Well, if we come up with a kind of technical term, maybe some type of lingo that that falls more in the corporate world. Yeah, we can get uh, we can get some buy in on that. Okay. So let's move the goalposts on this. Yeah. Yeah, we might be able to just, uh, you Get know, sometimes you got to punch a puppy in the face. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I'd like to get up and take the helicopter view of this so that we can see how it uh, affects the end user before we land and expand. There you go. Okay, exactly. so back to making money. We made $1,265 last year in sales. And I spent on all kinds of everything coffee related about ten grand. 10K. 10K. $10,000. And Mike spent about 10K. Probably. This, yeah. I didn't add up all the, uh, I didn't have, you know, I mean, that's kind of one of the things, right? Um, we didn't necessarily know what we were doing, what we should be tracking. I tracked the bigger items, but yeah. even when we'd go to a shop and then we'd specifically talk or review it, you know, that's, that's part of the business track model. model. So now, because so, yeah. we get questions about your model. You know, what should you do? How much is it going to cost you? Yeah. And it's going to cost way less than that. That is buying microphones, mixers, recorders, camera gear, camera gear um, what hats, right? The zero profit hat. Mm-hmm. We made those. Um, we All the brewers, all, everything, everything we've reviewed. You know what I mean? All the coffee that we've reviewed. All the boxes that we went international through. International coffee. Yeah. Blue bottles, Colombian geisha for a hundred dollars. Yeah. For, you know, yeah. so we spent we were not very efficient with the way that we did things. You can spend a lot less money to make more. Yeah. If you actually try so. to make sure. money. Yeah. But I mean, we're doing a lot with the podcast, the website. Um, every little thing costs money. And we've been experimenting a lot with stickers and cards and Third wave water and all this stuff, all this stuff. So That's number one, yeah. Is uh, are we going to go March seventeenth on the list? Oh yeah, March. So March. March, March is when we started selling, and we never. It's what's funny is that we didn't advertise for like a month or two, at all, at all. Like we put the store up, and we had a purchase before we let anyone know. The, the store was like, oh, well, what do we do now? What is this? I mean? guess we got to roast it and fill it. Did but you get the bags? Two no. roasters, bags, stickers, and some training, a lot trainings, of books, books, 
gear just review. Consuming everything we could. If you are starting your own operation, there's one lesson that I would think would apply to you. Yeah. Spend pick a little more your money. Partner. Oh. Yeah. Pick, pick better partners. <laughs> but spend a little more money on the bags. That's what I would say. Yeah. Well, and that was something that you were talking about earlier to me. You're like, hey, we didn't really spend that much on bags, but I remembered why. And that's always important, too, to remember why you make decisions. Because we didn't know exactly what we wanted the branding to be. That's true. We didn't want to commit to a hot stamp or to a 10,000 bag order with something that we weren't committed to as far as font or even even the logo, right? Yeah, yeah. We had something, but we weren't certain. Yeah. So if you're certain, go for it. That's true. And that was part of it. Yeah. We thought, well, we can always switch out a sticker. That's true. And that was part of the reason. And the other part was, it's not the easiest. We even get hit up all the time. Like, what bag? I can't find this bag. Where do you guys get your bags? Bags you know, are tough. You would think they wouldn't be as, as difficult to come by. But if you're looking for a specific design with specific color and sheen. And then you want it to fit in a specific box. And, yeah. And we went through a couple different bags, a couple different box sizes. And it cost, we had different, it cost money. You had long boxes that we thought were sweet, but we couldn't yeah. find bags to fit them. Couldn't find the bags to fit them. Yeah. So all that is part of the money that was spent. And and you can definitely come at it with less. You can definitely do it for cheaper. Definitely. Definitely. So if you've listened from day one till now, just know that you can do it better. And you will. And hopefully. If you get Gary V's crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> On sale now. Uh, We've got 40 copies left. We're selling them at half price. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. Hit us up. Can we be yours. Have, we don't have 40 left. No. No, we might have a couple, but for the most part. Well, unless you, well, I, I don't know how long I'm going to give my Twitter peeps and my Instagram peeps to respond. I think in the in the rules it says six days, seven days, 18 10 days, days 30, days. 40, 50 minutes. No, that's Reply totally within right 10 now. minutes. That reminds me. Remember those old school commercials that say if you call within the next 15 minutes, we'll throw in another. Right. And like, I always Call thought, do now. they, do they know, like, is there like a room of people sitting waiting to answer your call and they go, okay, it's East Coast. The, our ad is airing right now. Anyone that calls within the next 10 minutes, you give them a free. No, because I've made that call before. Hey, am I number, am I one of the 10? And they're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> am I one of the 10 callers? But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course, you can buy right now. Yeah, yeah. You're caller 57. Of mm -hmm. course you get it. Mm hmm. Anyway. All right, so we have good stuff. Seven days. After, oh, the book will be shipped within seven days of the winner confirming their address. We don't say anything about. Well, quick, change the rules. Well, I, <laughs> quick, edit the post. Oh, okay. The winners will be informed by DM within twenty-eight days of the closing date, and will be and will need to respond within twenty-eight days, or a new winner will be chosen. Oh, well, you got you twenty-eight gotta, days. You got to exercise a little patience there, then. Twenty-eight days been like five yeah if that been like three five yeah. okay wow it's been seven wow it's been five it's been days. seven in the listener world seven plus wow okay yeah that's no, right hasn't been that long that's right just chill use the uh, pile of books as a chair don't worry about it okay be gone soon enough all right just like this show um, i'm gonna leave you with this quote brick by brick brick by brick you look up 12 years later and have a building. Gary V. You will indeed. And thank you so much for joining us for episode 107 of the Orange Cactus Coffee podcast. As always, you can find the show notes at orangecactuscoffee.com forward slash episode 107. Send us your feedback if you want to. Jacob at orangecactuscoffee.com. Mike at orangecactuscoffee.com. On Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. You can even find us doing a little bit more on Snapchat. Appreciate you listening. Catch you next time. <laughs>